earth observation plays an important role, which is the agriculture. Um, before we actually dive into the topic, um, I don't know if everybody has heard of GAF, probably not. Um, so uh, GAF AG is uh, one of the um, really long-term players in the earth observation field in Germany and in Europe. So we were founded already in 1985, so we are in the market more than 25, uh, 35 years now. Um, we are in total uh, more than 200 stuff uh, covering all kinds of different themas, so agriculture is one of them. Um, but um, we also, um, I must emphasize that we cover pretty much the whole value chain in Earth observation from uh, satellite data reception to uh, data resales distribution, so we have uh, uh, almost all um, relevant commercial uh, satellite data in our portfolio. Um, we provide Earth observation products, which I'm going to present you today, some of them, and, uh, but also the software and the tools to analyze these products, and finally the capacity building in order to use uh, uh, the products uh, successfully for your needs. Um, that being said, um, I take you to agriculture. So agriculture is from the early beginning one of our uh, most uh, uh, central topics. Um, so um, we are supporting um, mainly governments, but also um, other players in the agricultural value chain uh, uh, in using Earth observation and geospatial data in their work. Um, and today I'm going to present you the AgroSuit. So that's our portfolio really of different agricultural products which we offer to governments, to insurance providers, or um, to other agricultural users, um, including, um, I will tell you something about um, soil moisture, for example, um, crop monitoring in general, supporting the uh, European Common Agricultural Policy, for example. Then uh, we have a product, AgroYield, which is a yield estimation uh, uh, product, and then I present you also some of the uh, software tools which we provide for our users in order to utilize Earth observation. Um, the, I already mentioned the common agricultural policy, and um, for those of you um, who are um, in, uh, in, in working in agriculture, uh, you would know that the European Common Agricultural Policy, that's one of the key um, programs of the European Union um, um, overall uh, supporting more than 7 million farmers. Um, the program is the, uh, or the policy is the European Union's measure to uh, facilitate sustainable supply um, of, of food, basically of affordable food, of sustainable uh, uh, use of resources, and also supporting uh, uh, EU policies such as the Green Deal in order to make agricultural production uh, sustainable. Um, in total, the European Cup has a volume of 60 billion euros per year, which makes up of about one third of the European Union's household in total. So you already see how important the program is. And uh, why am you telling you this? Um, the European Cup made already very early, so since the 1980s, the use of Earth observation and geo-information technology mandatory for the member states, which uh, led to the development that agriculture was actually one of those sectors really driving uh, from the beginning uh, the development of Earth observation methods and also um, uh, creating significant markets for that. And um, one of the... Um, key words in this key, uh, has the pointer working? I don't know. Um, is the integrated agricultural uh, control system. So these are basically GIS system um, which the uh, member states need to use and which the data is ingested and we are supplying such systems already since the 1990s uh, to many of the federal states in Germany but also to other countries in order to facilitate their monitoring tasks. In uh, 2023 there was a significant change in uh, the agricultural monitoring in Europe. So before that, this very year, um, the agricultural controls by remote sensing were carried out only by on a sample basis, so only a sub 
fraction of the agricultural land was monitored in very much detail with very high resolution aerial or, or satellite images. And from this year onwards, uh, the system has been changed so that the whole agricultural area, so 100% of the fields need to be monitored by the member states by using Copernicus in particular, Sentinel and other observation systems to really look at the full agricultural area. You can imagine that this was quite a game changer and it's a change which is still ongoing. Um, <clears throat> at GAF, um, we reacted already early on that and we are very happy to show you today um, uh, and this is the first product which I want to uh, walk you through. This is the agro crop, crop monitoring suite, um, which we are supplying for government in order to fu fulfill this um, agricultural monitoring system or area monitoring system, what it's referred to. So AgroCrop itself uh, is basically also a whole suite of services or monitors, uh, how it is re referred to in government terms, of this different aspects of uh, um, agricultural production. So uh, one key aspect is, of course, the detection of crop types, so which crops are grown on the field, because this is directly linked to the farmer subsidy application and is then verified by remote sensing whether the crop which is applied for is actually also grown on the field. For crop classification, um, this is done uh, based on the land parcel information system, so a very, very accurate field cadaster which the member states need to operate. <coughs> And we provide in our agrocrop system um, the algorithms and the tools in order to distinguish up to 180 crop types with a very high accuracy of more than 90%, um, which is necessary in the context of such an operational system. Um, but agricultural monitoring is not only about crops, there is also grassland, there is fallow land, there are many different aspects um, which the farmers can actually apply for subsidies and which are supported uh, through the European uh, Commission. And you see 14 of those on the slide. So there is uh, grassland monitoring, mowing detection, the growing of catch crops, uh, so intercropping between two to main crops and so on. So all these aspects need to be monitored. Not all need to be monitored by all countries or member states or, or federal states, but um, within this, this agro-crop uh, product range, we have a quite uh, wide variety of monitors which are already required. And this selection is also growing, by the way. Then the sec second product which I wanted to show you is uh, agro-yield. So agro-yield is a yield estimation system. So what would I need that for? So um, the farmers, as well as governments, as well as uh, agricultural insurance, uh, for example, they need to know already in advance of the harvest um, how much the yield of the crop production of a certain year is. So you need to know that information, for example, for it planning a sustainable food supply, um, but also uh, for logistics planning, for example, if an agri uh, company or a farmer needs to plan how much transport capacity he needs in order to transport the weight of wind, you need to know already in advance how much will be the harvest. And we are providing this based on an uh, artificial intelligence-based modeling um, where we combine different machine learning methods uh, together with Earth's observation data, but also other variables, so uh, climate data, rainfall, temperature, so basically everything which drives the vegetation to grow, we um, combine that into a modeling procedure and are with this tool able to predict crop yields already up to two months before harvest with very high accuracies, um, which makes it a very suitable tool um, for the purpose. The next product which I want to show you, and this is also uh, some really groundbreaking product, that's AgroSoil. So AgroSoil is a four-dimensional soil moisture um, product um, which we can provide basically globally with a high spatial resolution, with a high temporal resolution, um, but also, and that's the groundbreaking thing in the thing, um, we have a high vertical resolution uh, as well, so we can go with this product into the root zone of the plants down to one meter depth. Um, and this combination of, of high resolution plus the ability to actually look into the ground, and you see this in the, in the graphic here, you see the soil moisture behavior over the year 
in the different, so the colored lines are the different soil depth down to one meter. And uh, this has not been on the market, but this is something which we, in dialogue with our users, detected there is really a global need for that, uh, especially uh, um, in changing conditions due to climate change, where agricultural production risks are increasing. Um, we all know that droughts have been seriously increasing in Europe uh, over the past year, so in this past six years, I think five of them uh, were actually very dry years. Um, agricultural production going down due to this lack of water input. So this makes this product very important. And uh, our users proudly uh, use that one for their applications because it really resolves uh, a previous uh, uh, issue or a lack of data which was not there before. And then finally, I don't know, yeah. And then finally, that's already the last product which I want to show you in this short presentation. This is AgroView. So AgroView is one of the software um, tools which we provide for our users. It's basically a web-based GIS system uh, specifically designed um, for the agricultural insurance, supporting the insurers throughout the whole life cycle of uh, agricultural production. We developed this tool together with our partners from Munich Re, uh, specifically first for the Indian market, but it's also globally uh, applicable. It's available in different countries as well. Um, so what it does basically, it, it, it has a fully automated earth observation processing in the back end. So it screens every day or every night actually, so German night, uh, it screens the archives of the data providers for new earth observation data available on crop health. That's one of the uh, factors which we monitor. So um, uh, uh, the uh, agriculture, in order to detect agricultural drought, you need to look at the plants, at the vegetation, at the crops, and see how it is developing over the season. So uh, it automatically prov provides indicator on crop health. Uh, for weather monitoring, the weather is, and the rainfall in particular, is the driving factor of plant growth. So um, it, it, it screens different sources of meteorological data, processes it, puts it into the system, provides it to the users. Um, it allows drought monitoring, so vegetation drought, agricultural drought, uh, 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 anomalies, um, and it also provides not only the web-based interface, um, which is good for the analyst, but it provides really reporting also on a fortnightly basis so that the decision makers can get um, um, the data on their full portfolios or all, on all their insured areas um, in PDF format. Um, every time the processing is taking place and there is new data, the user gets email alerts with the PDF report and can immediately see where are problematic areas areas where can losses in agricultural uh, uh, production be expected or which areas are going in good condition and uh, are not problematic. So that's agro few and then I already come to an end. Uh, just to summarize uh, um, the agro suit with the different products uh, in a nutshell, there are more uh, of them uh, and you are also invited to visit our booth in Hall 27 so uh, we can tell you more about that or also about many other topics in remote sensing because as I said we're doing many things in terms of uh, earth observation. So all these solutions which I presented are based on state-of-the-art um, earth observation data but also the methodologies. Um, they are globally applicable so um, we are not limited to certain geographies, but um, at Gov, so we do projects, we did in more than 140 countries and are active worldwide. So we design our products in general so that they are applicable in all areas. The products are fully scalable, so you can apply them from local level to national to continental level. That's, uh, that's all possible. Um, they are fully adaptable. Um, this is always important because we don't, uh, we have learned with our long-term experience that it makes no sense to uh, uh, provide products which are fully technology-driven. It's, at the end of the day, really the user that tells you what he needs, and uh, therefore these products need to be tailored in order to respond to that needs. So uh, all of them are highly adaptable. And finally, um, everything which I showed is also based on cloud technology, which then allows us also the scalability and the uh, cost-efficient provision of the services also on large scales. And with that being said, I thank you for your attention.